Hello everyone, I'm David and welcome to Mailbag Monday. I think it's been two weeks since my last Mailbag Monday, so uh, thank you guys for sticking with me and checking back. Things have just been so hectic and crazy with trying to book all the conventions for Songbird uh, for this year and then trying to book some concerts in between there and then just working on some other stuff like uh, the new Octoc videos that are coming out. Which, Speaking of which, I have a new series starting up that's part of Octoc, which is just how to play the Ocarina, which is starting tomorrow. It's geared towards 10 and 12 hole Ocarina, so if those are the kind of Ocarinas you guys have, you'll definitely want to check it out because I'm going to help you guys memorize all the notes of your Ocarina, teach you some tips and tricks of like just how to properly hold it correctly, uh, how to get the best sound and intonation, all the basics that most Ocarina players actually don't know. So there's nothing else like this out there on the internet or book-wise, so I hope you guys will enjoy that. And it's going to be about 14 or 15 episodes, so it's going to go all the way up until June. So it's going to keep you guys busy. And if you're a patron on Patreon, you're also going to get all the uh, PDF stuff that's going to go along with it. So you'll basically be able to build your own method book from each one of these lessons. And um, I'm really excited about it. So hope you guys enjoy that. I also have a couple new music videos coming out. Uh, I'm working on two collabs right now. I just posted a cover of Majora's Mask, uh, Stone Tower Temple, which I just got Majora's Mask. I haven't had that much time to play it since it's released on Friday, but I at least got uh, turned back into Link, which is a lot of fun. It's really cool just like revisiting Termina and seeing all the little changes that they made to the game, which is like my favorite thing by far is the camera thing. Like it's if you don't have the, the Circle Pad Pro or the new 3DS, you can actually just move the 3DS to look around uh, through Link's eyes, which is amazing to me. I, I just think it's fascinating. So I hope you guys, if you have it already, you're enjoying it. And if you don't have it yet, get it, because it's awesome. So today I got three letters from you guys and a package uh, that I'm going to open up last. But uh, the first letter I'm going to go ahead and open up is from Andre in Athens, Georgia. And he wrote, hey David, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good, thanks Andre. My name is Andre and I just discovered your amazing videos about a month ago. I wrote to let you know how incredibly inspirational you've been to me. After seeing your great songs, you've really inspired me to become an ocarinist like you. I wanna play the ocarina, but I don't have enough money, so I'm saving up to get one. Good for you, that's awesome. This brings me to my question. What ocarina should I buy that's good for beginners and good in quality? It doesn't matter to me if it's Legend of Zelda. The style doesn't matter either. Pendant, sweet potato, or inline, all are fine. Also, could you give me a list of websites for good ocarina providers in addition to Songbird? I've looked at their products and I'm really impressed. Thank you for inspiring me so much with your videos. Continue to spread the beauty of ocarinas. Please write back. I thought of this question after I finished my letter, and I was wondering if you could possibly also transcribe the Zelda Songbook 2 that you did for 12 and 7 hole for Songbird. My mom owes me like $25, so she said she might give me the Soprano C seed pod from Songbird. I like Legend of Zelda music, but I only saw Volume 1 for 6 hole. This made me sad because almost all your songs from the Legend of Zelda medley, which was amazing, were in Volume 2. I would really appreciate it if you could do this. I can't wait to get the Ocarina I'm saving up for. P.S. I hope you like the drawings. Totoro's perfect face. <laughs> He did some cool drawings of ocarinas and uh, Zelda related stuff, and then Totoro, which is really cute. Andre, thank you for writing, and let's see, to answer your questions, um, so yeah, I'll list a couple different ocarina makers that I really like in the description below. Songbird is great, the plastic 12 hole ocarina is fantastic by Focalink. Um, I really like all their 12 hole ocarinas. Their pendants are great as well. One of my favorites is the Seed Pot Soprano C that you mentioned. In fact, I think I have it right here. Yeah, I don't know if they sell this one on the website anymore, but this is by far one of my favorite ocarinas just to toss in my backpack and carry around. It's got these cool bamboo um, art on the front, which this looks really awesome. The second question about transcribing the Zelda Songbook Volume 2. Uh, you can actually use the seven-hole book on six-hole ocarinas. There's a couple songs that have it out of the range, maybe because of the low A and B and then also the high F notes. But for the most part, the book will actually work well with Six Hole Ocarinas because the, the Seven Hole Ocarina by Songbird is based on a Six Hole Ocarina. The four holes and then the thumb hole on the bottom. So you, you could actually get the Volume 2 for Seven Hole and be okay with the Six Hole Ocarina. Um, but I'll, I'll look into transcribing it for Six Holes as well. It'll take some altering of the songs and transcribing a little bit, but we'll see. I just, I'm working on so many other songbooks for Songbird right now. I'm not sure how soon I'll be able to get to it, but I'll definitely pitch it to him. So thank you for the questions, the drawings, and thank you so much for writing. Appreciate it. This next letter is from Joe out of Ambler, Pencil, PA. What does PA stand for? Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Siri. Siri, no, you're dead. Siri 
passcode is required when iPhone restarts. What is the abbreviation for Pennsylvania? The answer is the. It's Pennsylvania. And he writes, David, let me start with a question. How was your holiday? It was good. Thank you for asking. Over the holidays, I got my first 12 hole ocarinas, an Allegro Alto C and Strawfire from Sombra Ocarina, and a black tenor aria from STL. I was wondering why one was called Alto and the other tenor when both start on the same note. I actually did a video about this a couple weeks ago about the different classification systems for ocarina, so if you'd like to check that out, it's right here. And the short answer is just there's no universal system for naming ocarinas, uh, but there's more in depth discussion about that in the video that talks about the few systems that are in place. Alto is the one that's more universally used by ocarina makers in Asia and the US now, whereas uh, STL uses their own naming system, which is why they call it a tenor instead of an alto. Uh, but yeah, it's a very good question. Also, I was looking at the man who sold me my first six-hole pendant at the Philadelphia Folk Festival a few years back, which leads me to my next question. Do you know any ocarina makers, enthusiasts, or guilds that play in the Philly area? Your fellow ocarinist, Joe. Actually, one of my close ocarina buddies is from Philly, so I can ask him. I'm actually not sure myself, but I'll, I'll find out, and if there is, I'll post any information. Thanks for the letter, Joe. This next letter is from Stuart in Devon, Alberta, Canada. There's like a poster. There's a, something in here. This is a poster. That's awesome. The uh, artwork from Ocarina of Time. Hope the lighting doesn't mess with that. And then on the back, Twilight Princess. Very cool. Hi, Dr. S4. My name is Stuart, and I'm 10. I have two Ocarinas, and they're both Alto Cs. The first time I saw your vid is when I went on YouTube to see if Ocarinas were real, and the first vid I saw was yours. Now I'm addicted to your videos. Question time. <laughs> My pendant ocarina is really annoying. It has 10 pitches and the highest note works badly. How do I get it to sound good? Stuart, this is a very difficult question to answer because it really depends on who made your ocarina. If it was a big company like Focalink or uh, WPN slash STL, then I would be able to give you a couple tips on it. But if it's just, if it's a smaller maker that I haven't tried or just not too familiar with, it's really difficult to pinpoint. Um, what the problem could be. All I can say is just experiment with how much air you're blowing into it. If it's a soft airflow ocarina, you're gonna to need to blow softly when you play the high notes. And if it's a strong airflow, you might actually have to blow harder. So just practice um, blowing stronger or, and softer and just experiment a little bit to see what the, um, the dealio might be. Second, I'm learning the Dark World theme from Zelda A Link to the Past. I can't find a video for that. I'm asking if you could please make a vid on how to play the Dark World theme. Thank you, Stuart. I don't have a tutorial for that video, but I have a ensemble video I did a couple years ago. I think there could be tabs on the ocarinanetwork.com, so you can check that out in their tab section. Um, but I might have the sheet music for it, so I'll put a link to that in the description below. And if you pair that with a new series of Octoc videos I have coming out that's going to teach you how to read sheet music, then you will be set. I also have some old videos about how to read sheet music, so if you start doing that now, you will probably be able to read it fairly quickly. So yes, have fun with that. Uh, let me know if you have any trouble about reading the sheet music, and maybe I can address that in a new video. So thank you, Stuart. And finally, I have a package from my friend Stormcat385, and I suspect this is another uh, birthday present. So thank you. Aw, oh, she sent me some Skittles. Yes, I don't think I've ever tried the dark side, so this is cool. I don't think I've ever tried the dark side. <laughs> That's a good thing. It's like Star Wars up in here. All right, there's something else in here, but I'm going to uh, read her letter first. She did some cute ocarina drawings on the front, and she said, guess the ocarina, and there's a slot with, it looks like a big pendant, Mr. Blank. Would it be Turtleberg? Hi, David, it's me again, Michelle. Hope you don't mind me writing you so much. <laughs> yeah, I think this is your third or fourth letter in the last couple years, so. Thank you. But yet again, I have another present for you. It's a dot 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 crochet automaton. Really? Aw. That is so cool. I don't know if you saw my automaton when I uh, made a video a couple weeks ago, but this is definitely a plushie automaton. That is very, very cute. I crocheted it once I came back from the trip to Oregon when I saw you perform last year, which by the way was definitely the biggest highlight of 2014 for me. Oh, that's very sweet of you to say. Back to the automaton. It fortunately can't play, but I remember you telling me that you won one just because it was so cute. So here you go. See, this is Max, and this is his clone? Baby? I don't know. This is what he sounds like. 
Let's see. If you can guess what song that was, you win a million dollars, because that was horrible. <laughs> By the way, Merry Late Christmas, Happy Late New Year, and Happy Early or Late Birthday, depending on when you get this. Thank you for being so incredibly talented and, and inspiring. If it weren't for you, I would have never gotten into music. Wow. So thank you for getting me started, because now I play ocarina, piano, and cello. Thank you once again, your friend Michelle. P.S. Enjoy the Skittles. Also, when's your new ocarina coming out? I want to try the Dark Side Skittles. Skittles are like my go-to snack now when I'm editing videos. They help me focus for some reason, so I really appreciate them. It's like the best thing ever to ask you guys for Skittles. <laughs> Dark side Skittles. Hmm. They're different than the, um, tropical ones. Very good. We are still working on my signature ocarina. We had to put it down temporarily while we were working on some other stuff. And, um, we had a Songbird had a bunch of projects. I had a bunch of projects, so... It just um, had to put a hold on it. But we're hoping to have it out by late spring or early summer. Just We're just getting back into it now. So I will keep you guys posted. I'll give you guys updates on these videos and on my social networks too. Uh, if you guys are more interested in that. But I'm really excited about it. I, I love the uh, direction that Songbird was taking it. And uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to play them. I'm, I'm excited to share it with you guys too. And thank you again so much for writing in the gifts, Michelle, and everybody who sent me a birthday gift. You guys are all awesome. If you guys would like to send me anything else in the mail, my description is here probably, and then also in the description below. Thank you guys for watching once again. I will probably, I probably won't have another mailbag video this coming week, but the week after that. So yeah, bi-weekly seems to be pretty convenient for these. So subscribe if you would like to not miss that. <laughs> uh, check out the new, Talk episodes that are coming out this week in the new collab videos on the main channel and uh, all that stuff. Thank you all for watching. Have a great week and be sure to check out tomorrow's Talk episode on my main channel. See you guys then.